get into today's reading, I just want to say thanks to Keen for sponsoring today's video. If you are looking for a personalized and accurate reading to your unique situation, then I highly recommend Keen. So I got a reading from Keen not too long ago, and it was honestly the best thing I ever did. My reader's name was Kim, and she was so amazing. I have so much gratitude to her and her gifts. She was so genuine, so honest, and she really made me feel comfortable asking her the questions I asked. Um, the first question I asked was a love-related question I had in regards to my person and she really helped me see things from a neutral perspective and gave me some really sound advice in regards to my next move um and she even predicted my person's next move which no lie came true and she was just amazing and then the second question I asked was a family related question um and she answered everything to my liking again with such great detail more than I could ever ask for honestly everything she picked up on and told me was 100% accurate and so true it was scary um I'm just so happy I found her so I highly suggest suggest you give Keen a try. Um, so if you ever need a more, you know, in-depth additional guidance after listening to my readings or any other reader on YouTube or anywhere else, definitely give Keen a try. Keen does offer online and phone chatting. I chose online, which was perfect for me and so convenient, but phone chats are available as well. It just depends on you and the reader you choose. Um, but yeah, you know, it's always nice to get a second or third opinion from someone who can give you a straightforward answer you know, from an objective point of view, and Keen provides just that. So Keen connects you with um, talented readers and astrologers 24-7. So if you want to get a reading from Keen like I did, it's super easy to start. All you have to do is um, create an account, and you'll be able to choose from the hundreds of tarot readers and astrologers who are online right now. And each reader has a unique specialty design to provide you a deeper and inner, a deeper inner and understanding to your unique situation, no matter what that is. So you know, if you want to know about your love life, you know, is your person going to commit? Is there a third party? If you want to know about any financial um, situation you may be going through or career oriented questions, you know, whatever the case may be, Keen has a reader, you know, ready to provide you the clarity and insights you're looking for. So you just choose whatever reader best suits your needs and you'll be able to connect with them over the phone or online chat. And as a new customer, you can try your first five minutes for only $1, which is so amazing. So give it a try. A Keen advice is online right now ready to help you and give you that personalized 101 reading with direct feedback so i highly suggest keen just click on the link in my description box to save on your first reading and without further ado let's get back to your reading hello my loves and welcome or welcome back to my channel this is love truth and wisdom tarot guidance i hope you all are having an enjoyable day evening afternoon wherever you are and i hope you all are doing well so today i'm here to bring you a pick a card reading and we are looking into um, hidden gifts and unexpected events um, this holiday season. So what surprises are in store for you this holiday season? So we have here two piles to choose from. We have the first pile here with the bow and heart and then we have the second pile here with the present so feel free to pick both if you feel guided to do so just keep in mind this is a general reading so not all the messages will resonate and that's perfectly okay just take what does and leave what doesn't i am available for personal readings if you ever feel guided to get a personal reading for me all the information will be down below in the description box and um yeah i just like to give a big thanks to all of you for liking sharing subscribing supporting my channel whatever way you feel guided to do so really means so much to me so thank you all for your time and your trust um but yeah so without further ado here let's get on to your reading hello pile one welcome to your reading if you chose the heart with a bow this is your reading for what hidden gifts and unexpected blessings are coming your way this holiday season so i definitely see love and work love and money love and finances because we have career and past love um a couple different things so this could be an old job or a past job coming back returning to you wanting to work with you wanting to collaborate with you wanting to do business with you or this could be a lover coming back wanting to work on things, wanting to mend things, wanting to 
um, putting the effort this time, wanting to be work on being in a relationship. Also, this person could provide some type of work advancement or business or financial opportunity for you as well. It's very like intertwined your work and your love. So I definitely feel also this is something you've been manifesting because we have the magician here. So this is something you've been like actively manifesting. This is not going to be a surprise or as unexpected as you may think or you may want it to be. I definitely feel this is something you are aware of and you're already in the vibration of and it's for some of you already happening. If not, I definitely feel like it's going to be happening very, very soon. We also have surrender here with the water. So this speaks about releasing, going with the flow, flowing with your emotions, your energy, your feelings. We also have the king of cups. So a lot of feelings here. I feel like this past love could be was a very slow return like I feel like you've been waiting for this person to return or like I said manifesting this person to return and it's been very slow and they're finally here in a very like mature and stable way wanting to work on things wanting to like give to you and wanting to receive from you it's like a very reciprocal type of energy because we also have the three of pentacles here and I also feel like this person um has been manifesting you as well like manifesting return or an opportunity to return to you um especially when it comes to like if this is like a past lover then this is someone who like still has feelings for you definitely still wants to like see where things go they want to continue to work on things this acorn here represents um new beginnings and growth and you know giving birth to something new so or like um recommitting as well as as is also something I'm hearing and then we have the ship here in the middle which represents movement and journey and travel so you could be like going to see this person or this person could be wanting to see you I, I feel like it's been a long time since you've seen this past person and I feel like it's been long overdue and I feel like you both can't wait to see each other because I'm getting a really giddy excited type of vibe I think it's definitely a new start a new beginning for you both to see where things go and to see if you can work I'm getting work through things better this time around. So maybe in the past, you both weren't very collaborative or cooperative. And I do feel like now you both are wanting to be more collaborative and cooperative together. Um, I feel like you both are wanting to release control, especially when it comes to your emotions and feelings. So if this person was very controlling with their feelings and like what they told you, what they shared with you, I do feel like this person is now surrendering to their feelings and they're going to tell you how they truly feel. So I am getting like a love confession from this person and just this person person like wanting to like surprise you with something like um like a love confession or like a new beginning I feel like this person could like if this person lives far from you or abroad from you they could like um surprise you and be like hey I'm in your town or I'm in your city or I'm in your area do you want to like meet up or something like that like it's gonna be really loving it's gonna be really passionate and compassionate I'm getting um I feel like this person is definitely taking back their power because you're finally taking back your power and you're finally understanding your power in terms of like your manifestations and law of attraction and I and I see you really thriving honestly I see a lot of positive business success in love success in business um really taking hold like this holiday season for you and you really like putting in the work to make things fit better and you really wanting to and having the motivation and the inspiration to really like work together with this person work together with this business or career whatever the case may be I'm seeing if you're self-employed I'm seeing a lot more customers a lot more clients a lot more just business like money success um it's almost like you're growing, your business is growing or your work is growing. You could be getting a promotion and advancement if you work for somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just growing, it's just moving towards being more, I feel like also like a leader position is coming up for you or like you're gonna have an opportunity to like show your leadership qualities or your leadership abilities. Like with the three pentacles here, it's just a lot of work, but I feel like it's fun and I feel like it's something you've been wanting to do and you've been manifesting and I feel like it's something that you really do want to do. Like it's not something that's gonna be like tedious or like, you know, tiresome. It's something that you're really serious about, you're really passionate about with the King of Cups being here. And it is something that you really do want to put in the effort to see it through, basically. Um yeah and then we have control here and I feel like this control card is just talking about releasing control which I feel like you already are it's not something that I feel like um 
maybe for some of you it's like guidance or advice but I feel like for most of you you're already releasing this control and it speaks about taking back power like I said releasing and um also like okay it says kinky in the bedroom so that could be a surprise where you are finally um able to be intimate with this past lover and it's really kinky or something like that or like but I feel like that's not even gonna be a surprise to you maybe for some it might but for most of you I feel like you've been with this person this is someone you have history with this is some this is someone that um like I said you could have worked with and had like an office romance or something for a few of you but for most of you I I feel like it's intertwined, but I don't think it's o always has been intertwined. Does that make sense? It's like, if anything, I feel like you're just manifesting two separate situations at the same time. And it's just, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just happening that way. Um, and then for others of you, it's like a work love related type of situation, but you know, just take what fits. Um, but yeah, this is something that you're definitely just surrendering to and you're like, just very calm about very like, cool calm stable collected very like emotionally you're handling it in a very emotionally mature way and I feel like you've been working on your emotions I also feel like this person's been working on what to say to you and working on this love confession and like giving you something which I definitely feel is a love confession um or giving you an opportunity to like be with them or even like move in with them I don't know why this three of pentacles is giving me like moving in or like working on something together or just kind of sharing day to day stuff with each other like whatever it is it's just really sweet I like it it's the it's the building block in the beginning of something beautiful and it's I feel like it's gonna move rather quickly the more that you release and the more that you surrender to this to everything here like it's just it's just gonna build momentum and it's just gonna be more successful more successful and like I don't know I just I really like this energy it's just it's really nice um yeah with the screwdriver it just speaks about like working on something and like mending something but having the ability to do so, having the tools to do so is what I'm getting. I also feel like car problems, I'm getting like car transportation problems. If you've been having car transportation problems, that's also something that's going to be um, fixed or you're going to have the ability to fix. You're going to have the ability to even, maybe even get a new car. But I feel like for most of you, you're going to be able to like fix your car, fix your transportation or like get new transportation or something like that. Um, Yeah. And for others, honestly, I think you're manifesting a new car or something or a new form of transportation. Whatever you've been manifesting, let's just say it's it's here. It's coming true this holiday season. I don't think it's a surprise to you. I think you've been really working and focused on what you want to bring into your reality. And I think it's finally happening. So that is what I see for you guys. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this provided you with some deeper insight and guidance to your situation. If not, feel free to pick the other pile. I'm sending you all so much love. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you all later. Take care. Hello, my second pile. If you chose the present pile, this is your reading for your hidden gifts and unexpected blessings for you this holiday season. So This is definitely in regards to a relationship I'm picking up really, really strong. And I don't know if this is a friendship or a love relationship. I feel like it's going to be 50-50. Like 50% of you, this is going to involve like a close friend, like a best friend. And then for others of you, this is going to be around a love, a lover. Um also we have the confirmation card we have confirmation angel numbers so you could be seeing a lot of angel numbers you could be seeing 12 12 11 11 you know anything like that um but also I feel like this card is giving me like you're finding out something or you're going to find out something in regards to a friend or a lover or a particular relationship you're having trouble in and I feel like this reading is going to be confirmation for a good majority of you like you're coming to this reading to just confirm something that you already know is happening that you already know is going to happen in some way because I feel like whatever I'm about to say is not going to be a surprise it's just gonna be like like you're gonna be like yep yeah, I knew it or yeah that that make like you're just gonna know like you're this is just like a confirmation you get what I'm saying um now I want to say there's no need to worry um I don't know why, but I feel like I have to say that. Also, I feel like saying continue on your path because you are moving forward, even if you think you're not. I feel like a lot of you could be, um, could identify as like light workers or something like that. Like you're very, like you're going through, it's almost like you're going through the shadows right now. Like you're going through something that 
is a little bit tricky or difficult and you're really being asked to trust your instincts when it comes to people or when it comes to a specific person um, or situation now i'm also getting 333 so you'd be seeing a lot of threes and threes for me are all about communication so there's some type of communication here that i think you're feeling funny about or you're feeling like your instincts are kicking up saying like pay attention to what's being said um to who's saying it like it's like you need to pay attention about something now ugh, i feel like something is going to happen that's going to be difficult for you to ignore or something is happening that's difficult for you to ignore and why did I just get gas station something about a gas station maybe this took place at a gas station maybe you saw someone at a gas station something I don't know why that's it's clearly not gonna be for all of you but I do feel like something something took place or something's about to take place that is going to be difficult for you to ignore and it's definitely um, showing up for a reason, obviously. Now, oh, it's like you're picking up something, but it's like, I don't know if you know how to interpret it with words or something. You just feel like something's going on or you feel like something is a, is about to go on. For a lot of you, I feel like this is already going on. But for some of you, this could be something that you just feel like is about to happen based on some past communication. It could be, it, I feel like now, in terms of the person, I we do have short term and soulmate here. Now, soulmate doesn't have to be romantic. It could be a friend. It could be like a best friend or something like that. And we have karma here. I feel like for most of you, this is going to be a lover. But for some of you, it honestly could be a best friend. It could be both. Um, but I just feel like I just keep hearing you're on the right path. Like you're on the right path. It's like something you see or something that you're going to be told or talk about. It's going to make you feel like you're not going to like you're not on the right path or like you're not where you're meant to be or something. But you are. This is all happening for you to get you to see something. One, I feel like to get you to trust your instincts and two, um, something about speaking up or something about like someone speaking to you and you needing to speak up also pay attention to the time on the clock for when this happens because I think that's gonna give you some like extra confirmation and guidance that you're on the right path or um maybe someone's phone number or a license plate number I'm just getting like you're getting a lot of signs and symbolisms and stuff like that listen to your intuition it's gonna be really important it's gonna be super heightened at this time as well and it's a it's okay so I'm just gonna say this is about a lover because we have the Ace of Cups and the Devil here, which speaks to me about a tempting offer or it's something tempting. This person's tempting you. Now, I we like I said, we have short term here, which speaks about quick a quick fling or something that is short term in terms of time. Like it's just like a moment in passing that you saw this person or you get to speak to this person or you get to like um talk to this person. But once you like have that moment, you're gonna understand something. You're gonna see something that because we have the seven of swords here so it's like you're gonna see that this person was being deceptive let's for example this is an example if this person let's say this is a past soulmate or the, let's say this is like someone you had a fling with and they're coming back around and they're being really lovey and affectionate like very ace of cups i think instinctually you're gonna be like this is funny but I think you may just like engage with it just to see like obviously you're just like curious and you're gonna know by meeting with this person or talking to this person more that this is like they they just want to fling they just want something short term they just want you know an ego boost they just want something and also I feel like this is unfinished karma with this karma card in the middle this is like something that's kind of a pattern or toxic pattern or something like that but there is an opportunity to see it from a new perspective because we have the hanged man now i'm not saying that this person's not a soulmate i feel like they're definitely a soulmate that carries a lot of karma with them um or with you both of you carry a lot of karma with each other and it's something about the timing of this that's really really important and something about the ending of this karma so you could be ending karma with this person and realizing that this is actually is a great connection. You can have a new opportunity with this person and maybe even a relationship, but it requires you to see something from a different perspective. So I definitely feel like, again, listen to your intuition. I'm getting that really strong. And 
I think you're going to definitely receive like a lot of strong, maybe even critical guidance about what's next or what's coming or why this person is in your life right now because the universe is guiding you and supporting you on this journey. Now, this is definitely like a karmic journey that you chose to engage with this person. Um, and I think you're just, you're, it's like you have, you're being reminded of something and it's like, you need to trust, you need to trust where you are is where you need to be at this time. Cause I think there's definitely a, like a strong energy of you not trusting the situation. You're not trusting that this is meant to happen. You're not trusting that this is your person, all that stuff. Trust what you feel. Cause it could be this person is definitely a soulmate and definitely someone that you can have a great connection with, but also, you know, there's some karma here. There's some like toxicity here that needs to be put to an end. And maybe you're, you have the ability to end it, to end the toxic cycle. Does that make sense? You could end the connection. Like, I, I don't know if this and relate and put this, if this is a friend, then everything I'm saying just put it in friend form because it's like there's something here that needs to end that needs to be discussed so you can close the door to this karma and have a new opportunity to have a better relationship with this person point period blank and we have the key here we have the 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 queen chess piece and we have the pencil so the key um represents like solutions answers discovery again i feel like you're curious about this situation this person this relationship still they're coming in it's a very there's love here but there's also shadow here there's light and and shadow here and i think you're just trying to figure out how to navigate it and how to be more how to show up authentic and honest and transparent and by seeing things from a different perspective because i also feel like Again, the key is like solutions and answers. So you're going to find a solution here. You're going to find an answer here. The queen um, chess piece is about like femininity, feminine energy. This could involve a feminine person, like a feminine figure. It doesn't have to be female, but it's just someone who carries strong feminine energy. And then the pencil represents um, creativity, I believe. Creativity, contemplation, alone time. Um, I feel like you or this person has been spending a lot of time alone. I feel like this person doesn't want to spend time alone anymore. It also could be that this person wants to find a solution to your relationship, wants to like find some type of, or needs answers about something, or maybe you need answers about something. And I also feel like someone is being deceptive here. It could be this person, but I think you're going to see it. I think you may, t may need to spend some time alone or distance yourself after this initial contact to see the lie or to see the deception but once you see it I definitely think that's your confirmation your opportunity to say something about it and I think this is what the lesson is or this is what the karma is so you can have a new story because I don't think this is someone that you want to let go I feel like you will if you have to but I don't think it's something that you want to let go or that you have to let go of um it's just you have to approach it in a different way and see it from a different perspective and if you're the person being deceptive, then I definitely feel like you're being guided to see maybe why you're being deceptive, <laughs> why you feel like you can't be honest or why you feel like you're scared to be authentic or share your feelings with this person. Like there's something that needs to be worked through. And I definitely feel like you're going to work through it. You're going to find the solution. You're going to find the answer to it. Um, it just may take it. It may take some time. It may take some like maneuvering. It may take some like putting things on pause for a minute you know what I mean it just takes a different perspective but I don't think this is something you want to give up on I feel like this person doesn't want to give up on it I just feel like it's time to kind of end this end this if this is for another example if this is like a friends with benefits situation basically you're being given the opportunity to like is this something you want to continue doing or is it something that you want to see turn into like a real relationship because I feel like both of you have feelings for each other you know what I mean I feel like but you're scared to like share those feelings or you're being deceptive about it with the devil here you're being like manipulative about it like you know what I mean and it's time to like kind of cut that out for an example that's one example now if this is a friend for example it could be like it could be a, a past friend an old friend that you haven't spoken to in a while that wants to like reconnect that wants to see you or they could be like manipulating you or making you feel guilty for not speaking or for not like seeing them more for not like you know something something it's like they lure you in with like false sense or like a, a false sense of like love or appreciation not saying this person doesn't care about you or have feelings for you but 
there's a so there's said there's a deeper meaning behind why they're doing it and it's like you're gonna give the you're gonna get the opportunity to call them out on it and to be like hey I know you miss me but that's not cool that you're like you know guilt tripping me or gaslighting me or something like that and like you speaking up about how you feel about the situation it's like you're yeah you're you're getting the opportunity to like close this karmic door and start over basically so wow that's that's your yeah that's your hidden gift and unexpected blessing in a way I, I see it as a blessing because with the ace of cups here it's just there's a lot of feelings a lot of love here um it just needs to be approached differently managed differently you know and I think you definitely have the tools to do so um but again this is I feel strongly this is not something that is going to surprise you this is not something that I'm I'm not telling you something you already don't know or don't feel already. If it's not already happening, it's about to, but I feel like you know this. But yeah, so that is what I see for you guys. So I'm going to leave it here. So I hope that was helpful. I hope this provided you with some deeper insight and guidance to your situation. If not, feel free to pick another pile. I'm sending you all so much love. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I will talk to you all later. Take care.